So, before we start a topic, difference between vapor and gas, let me first introduce you to this concept called critical temperature. Now, I'm sure that you all have read about it in your high school level uh, studies, but still, uh, I will give you a sneak peek of this. So, critical temperature is defined as, as you can see, a temperature at or above which a gas can't be liquefied. Means, uh, you can see what is boiling temperature of water that is 100 degrees Celsius. Means, above 100 degrees Celsius, if we increase the temperature, water will convert into vapor state. And below 100 degrees Celsius, it will be in liquid state. Similarly, critical temperature is a temperature at or above which means at critical temperature or if temperature greater at temperature greater than critical temperature the phase of substance that exists is only gas for, ex for example critical temperature of water is 374 degrees celsius means at 374 degrees celsius or temperature greater than 374 degrees celsius that is 375 degrees celsius 380 400 degrees celsius remember it is degree celsius not kelvin 374 degree celsius so above 374 degree celsius gas will be uh, sorry water will be in gaseous state only now what do i mean that above boiling temperature water will exist in vapor phase that is also gaseous state of matter above critical temperature that is 374 degree celsius it will also exist in gaseous state so what's the difference between 100 degree celsius and 374 degree celsius that is exactly the topic we are going to discuss about okay so critical temperature says above this temperature you cannot liquefy the gas okay tell me if uh, we fix the temperature and the uh, uh, substance is in gaseous phase so how do we liquefy it how what the what is the parameter that we alter to change the phase of substance obviously that that is pressure means above 100 degree celsius and below critical temperature if we increase the pressure it is possible to liquefy the substance okay above 100 degree celsius it is in vapor phase now so if we increase the temperature above 100 degree celsius it will convert to vapor but if at a certain temperature above 100 degree celsius and below 374 degree celsius if we increase the pressure it can be easily liquefied but what critical temperature sets the boundary is above 374 degree celsius however whatever by whatever amount you increase the pressure you cannot liquefy the gas atmospheric pressure is 1 atm so if you increase the pressure even by 100 200 times you cannot liquefy the gas above critical temperature okay so i hope you are clear with critical temperature critical temperature means above critical temperature substance exists in vapor phase sorry my bad above critical temperature substance exists in gaseous phase that cannot be liquefied by increasing pressure or anything means above critical temperature we cannot liquefy the gas and below critical temperature we can easily liquefy the gas so we can say above critical temperature gaseous phase of matter is called gas and below, below critical temperature gaseous phase of matter is called vapor so at last we can summarize it that vapor is easily liquefied easily liquefiable form of gaseous matter and gas is very difficult to liquefy you can see vapor is easy to liquefy and gases are very difficult to liquefy now one important thing you should remember is you should remember the critical temperature of water you should not forget it okay so this was the basic difference again if interviewer asks you tell me one more difference so you can say sir vapor can also exist in equilibrium with water but gases is a single thermodynamic state of matter and it exists alone for example uh, you can see at any temperature means uh, okay for example you can see in atmosphere we have air plus water vapor now water vapor existing in air is not having 100 degree celsius means it is evaporated before 100 degree celsius so we can say that gases are only single thermodynamic state of matter while vapor exists in liquid with with liquid in equilibrium it is not always the case that vapor exists in equilibrium with liquid but it may be possible that liquid exists in equilibrium with 
way but but it cannot be possible that gases are existing in uh, equilibrium with uh, liquid so we can say gases are single thermodynamic state of matter while vapor exists with liquid in equilibrium so that brings to me end of this lecture thank you very much for watching this don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button okay thank you